Give it. Mine. No. I, I had want it first. I want it. It's mine. Give it. Well, hey, everyone. Yesterday was a new experience for me, I want to tell you. <laughs> I wanted to go to town to get a few things I need for my greenhouse. Since we're going to be out, I wanted to swing by Walmart, pick up a pair of battery cables so I can hook up some lights in my workshop here. I also wanted to pick up some more shrimp so I can make my favorite seafood recipe this weekend. Now, I have a video on how to make that. I'll put it in the description below. I've gotten a lot of good feedback from my subscribers on that. In fact, I've gotten a lot of good feedback on all the recipes that I've shared. Um, if you're new to my channel, uh, you can just go to the home page of my YouTube channel here, and in the header banner, you'll see Friends of Frankie and the Boss. Just click on that, and on that page, you can download all of our recipes. We have them in a printable format, and you can just download them all for free, no cost to you. There's also a bunch of photo albums and stuff on there, just a bunch of random pics from our journey that you might enjoy. So help yourself to those recipes. Okay, so we go into the store with the intention of buying a bag of pink shrimp and a container of half and half. And that's it. We didn't even get a cart. But we go into the place and it's mobbed. I have never seen it this busy. Not ever. Every single register was open and everyone had a long line waiting to check out. So I'm looking around and I'm seeing cart after cart after cart loaded to the gills with paper products. It's not really making any sense to me because if there's an epidemic coming around, uh, you might want to be stocking up on some food and stuff, but I'm not seeing that. What I'm seeing is people, this big feeding frenzy for paper products. So I'm like, holy moly, all of the rumors that we heard about stores getting wiped out of toilet paper, wiped out of toilet paper. I really didn't mean to say it like that. But seriously, the rumors are true. The place is being cleaned right out of toilet paper. So I'm looking around and I'm seeing what's going on and that's only telling me what is coming. So, you know, Lori, let's get a cart. Now we just shopped a few days ago, like I said. We get a cart, back down the aisles we go. And we're loading up with stuff that we could store long term. All right, we're getting canned meats and lots of cans of tuna fish, some pasta, lots of rice, bags of flour, stocking up on butter. It's just all kinds of stuff that we can have here for a long period of time. We loaded up our cart and then, we, well, before we checked out, I go, well, we ought to go and grab a, a, a package or two of toilet paper because I don't want to run out because of this hysteria, we go to the paper aisle. There's no more toilet paper. It's gone. Checked with one of the clerks. Psh, no more. No. So we check out of the store and go, well, let's go to Walmart. Well, that only took us from the frying pan straight into the fire. <laughs> Twice as much chaos. Total madness. We don't want to buy into the panic, but if we don't, there might not be any to buy. So we grabbed what we could and made a run for it. Oh, we did a snatch and grab. And mama wanted to make sure she was good to go. <laughs> okay, all kidding aside, folks. If you're gonna take the time to go shopping and expose yourself to God knows what, Fill your cart with some food and other things that you and your family will need, aside from just paper products. If you want to reduce your chance of being exposed to certain things, just give yourself less exposure to them. A lot of people are habitual shoppers. They hit the market every single day. A loaf of bread one day, a gallon of milk the next. Right now is a good time to adapt a new strategy. As if you shop smart, you'll have to shop less often. So I just wanted to make this video to reach out to you all, give you a little update on what's going on. My postings may or may not be very sporadic for a while. 
I try to give you a video a week, but with everything that's going on in the world, I gotta admit it's got me pretty concerned. Uh, my immune system has been compromised because of the cancer that I have, so uh, I'm not gonna be running to town just to upload a video. When I go to town, it'll be to do all the things that I need to get done. I'll make the upload at that time, and then I'm going to get myself back up here to the woods. Okay. Now, a lot of folks like to watch my videos on a Sunday morning. Well, that's certainly still possible. I'll just post on my schedule. You watch them on yours, and it'll be a win-win for everyone. So I hope you all can keep yourself and your family safe through these troubled times. All the best to you all, and God bless. And the boss out of walking in the woods Living life happy and free Tracks in the snow everywhere they go There's a pokey way up in that tree A beaver built a pond where they have some fun Taking life a day at a time Best friends until the end Frankie and the boss Frankie and the boss Frankie and the Boss